All right, so in this lecture, we're gonna be talking about layers and the layer menu. We're not gonna go into everything about layers in this lecture because there's a lot to cover, but in this one, we're just gonna start with the fundamentals and the basics. So first, let's go over by describing what a layer actually is. So a layer, you can think about them as sort of like planes of glass. So uh, for example, if we had a pane of glass like this, and we we're drawing something on this pane of glass, right? but we had another pane of glass behind it and another one behind that. And each one of these panes of glass, we could draw on individually and it would sort of come through the layers and you'd be able to see it. So imagine these are like transparent and the only thing that's gonna show up is what we draw on it. That's basically how layers are. How we can pick these layers up, these panes of glass and move them in front of other ones or we could just take them out altogether and turn them off. And it makes it so that we have a lot of options to work with when we're digitally painting. It makes it so that we can change the hue and saturation of individual layers or just select individual layers or get rid of entire parts of our art, of our art altogether if we want to. So um, let's go ahead and explore this a little bit. So down here, this is our layer tab and it's gonna have everything we need for our layers, okay? So make sure you have layers selected. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer, this little trash can icon on the bottom. So delete that. And the first layer that you start with whenever you open up a document is your background layer. Typically, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're not painting on your background layer and that you're starting with a new layer. So let's go ahead and do that. We come down here, there's this little icon that looks like a sticky note. It might be different in whatever software you're using, but either way, you'll wanna know how to create a new layer. So now we have a new layer in our layer stack. Okay, if we want, we can click on it and rename it, but we'll do that in another lecture when we talk about layer organization. For now, let's just go over the main function. So that's to create a new layer, that's to delete a layer. Then this is gonna be our, um, you know, our layer type menu for changing the layer mode. So we have all these, we're gonna go over that later as well, so we'll just keep that in normal. Other things we have is fill, which is, you know, how many, what percentage of the pixels on the screen are gonna get filled with the layer. Probably very rarely, if ever, are gonna use that, but I mean, it's there. And then there's opacity, which you'll probably actually use quite a bit. That is just going to determine how opaque or not opaque the entire layer is. And for all these other functions, these are things that we're probably not really gonna need to worry about. Um, we're just gonna focus on the fundamentals. If you want to, you can create a text layer or a selection layer. That's what these are for up here. But for now, let's just focus on making new layers, moving them around and changing the opacity. So we have this layer here. I'm going to just pick this nice bright red color and we're gonna start by, oops. We're gonna start by drawing a red circle. Then let's come over here. We're gonna make a new layer on top of that one. And for this one, I'm gonna do a green square. And it's kind of a chunky square because I got a big brush. Okay, and then let's make a new layer. And we are going to make a blue triangle. Nice chunky triangle. All right, so now we have these three layers and we can see how by turning them off and on, we can move them around. So for example, if we imagine these like planes of glass, the top layer is going to be the top pane of glass. And so it's gonna cover up whatever is underneath it. We can also, you see by hitting this eye icon right here, turn the layer on and off. We can do that with any of these and just make them disappear. This makes it super convenient for painting lots of different things like shadows, or maybe you wanna add armor to a creature. Um, maybe you want to change its eye color and you can really easily transition between different layers and add different things. Now, if we click on a layer and hold down, we can drag it around and put it underneath other layers. So I can maybe put the red ball on top or in the middle. Use it however you want. You can also, once you have a layer selected, select any objects that might be in that layer and move them around independently from everything else which is gonna be really convenient for sort of reformatting things, you know, changing up your composition without messing up your entire painting. Especially later when we go into, you know, painting fully rendered images, you're gonna see how useful this is and how, you know, that's one of the biggest key elements of digital painting is the ability to use layers. Good rule of thumb is to make a new layer whenever you're adding some new feature to your art or a new step. Um, it's really easy to merge layers together and delete them if you need to. It's really hard 
to fix something that you've already done digitally painting without repainting everything. So when in doubt, just make a layer. And if you realize later you don't need it, just merge it down to whatever layer it can merge with. Um, I think when I started digital painting, that was probably one of the biggest flaws or mistakes I made was not making new layers. And I would always forget and go try and do something and realize that I hadn't made a new layer or I had painted something on the wrong layer. And it would be really frustrating. So that's something to get into a habit to uh, very early on is to just make a new layer. So anyways, that'll be it for this lecture. And I will see you guys in the next one.